Good morning. Um, it's my first presentation uh, in English. Um, and uh, let's do it. Uh, first, uh, I want to thank the GS1 for the invitation to participate in this conference and the opportunity to publicize the CHLN project uh, on the encoding quality of purchasing medical device. Uh, my presentation is divided into five uh, topics. Framework, description of logistics, project methodology, conclusions, and next uh, step, steps. Uh, in this first slide, it provides the framework um, of the project for uh, CHLN, the need to analyze and evaluate the codification uh, of existing device in the warehouse. GS1, uh, the proposal to review the existing GS1 coding of select uh, devices. The ambition of the, per the partners in optimizing the information and data processing. The center uh, set medium and long terms, which highlight the option of the global language in order to reduce costs, stocks, time, uh, and the haste. Um, and to increase the traceability of device, greater synchronization of the supply uh, chain. Short-term goals. Uh, analyze the used GS1 standards in the labeling of medical devices is as uh, the relevance of the GS1 coding uh, recommended to our suppliers. Description of logistic. Um, within, the, uh, within the framework of the project, we present below uh, a very uh, briefing description of CHLN and uh, logistic. The CHLN consists of two hospitals. It's the largest Portuguese hospital. It's a university hospital, a lead scaled hospital, all medical service. This slide presents the same indi indicators of the hospital 2014, under 30,000 surgeries, uh, owner uh, 700,000 consultations, um, 1,183 1, beds, uh, 43,130 outpatients, uh, 6,300 12 employees and um, 400 million uh, budget year. These numbers show the size of the center. Center logistic key indicators. Um, 38 employees, two hospitals, one central warehouse, 280 supply locations, 2,200 stock keep units, uh, 78 million unit and led 2013. Um, 250 SQ approved uh, approv daily. It's a, cert it's a certificate service since May uh, 2011. It was the first logistics certifi certifi certified in Portugal. <coughs> this slide, this slide is a shows, this shows the logistic path made today. Uh, the left on the slide shows how products were uh, stored until 2006. The right photos identify uh, the path made from 2006 and create a new uh, create create a new warehouse 
new distribution channel, introducing hardware and software, and uh, create a new replacement method. <coughs> Currently, uh, we also manage cons consignment uh, devices and use strategic uh, vendor managing inventory to items with high <laughs> turnover. Since, uh, since 2006, the hospital has taken a logic of consultation. The service that consume uh, reading barcodes, their, uh, the warehouse receives uh, the information and then does the picking of materials and then delivers the goods to destination service. Project methodology. We have made a brief summary of the logistics service. I will now uh, describe the design and methodology followed. The project, uh, the project was divided into five phases. Phase number one, information checking. Phase number two, analysis and data, data processing. Phase number three, presentation and result, results validation. A phase number four, approach to suppliers, and phase number five, implementation of recommendation. Phase number one, information checking, uh, select sample, 21 suppliers, 48 boxes transport, 40 consumer units, 96 uh, barcodes. This choice was made because it was eight turnover items, with high impact on warehouse uh, operations. The figure shows the model from where the data collected by supplier were uh, recorded. <coughs> Phase number two, anal uh, anal analysis and data processing. Um, The data uh, were structured by categorizing errors encoded in coding through you a simple, a simple symbology. Um, green, green symbol, coding with, without errors. Symbol, yellow symbol, uh, coding with uh, mirror errors. And uh, red symbol, coding with errors. Phase number three, presentation and results validation. Um, example, we analyzed the 48 um, logistic units, of which nine had no barcodes, 60 had barcodes, uh, found receivable products with barcodes. A total of 96 anal analyzed barcodes. Barcode, sorry. The following, the following barcode types were found. GS1-128, GS1 data matrix, EAN-13, and code 39. Many results, 72% 70 of the analyzed units are coded, 81% of products uh, are coding GS1, and 20% percent of analyzed codes were correct. Phase number four and number five. Phase four and five included the approach made to suppliers, uh, mainly through the design explanation and the presentation of results. As you can see there, our large companies use coding as not according to GS1 standards. Example, 3M and uh, Johnson & Johnson, uh, Monlik, Medtronic, uh, same example, not use the, the, the according to GS1 standards. At the, at the same time, some recommendations were made and support was provided for the correction of errors detected.
conclusions. The sample demonstrated that 81% of the analyzed barcodes were GS1, so it was understood we sh shouldn't recommend GS1 coding or suppliers. Other conclusions, global standard, it can cut costs, but also increase the quality of healthcare. In the future, in the future, we can get great benefits to the supply chain and for patients. Um, f uh, ben benefit supply chain, reduction of inventory labels, reduction of obsolete stocks, example, benefits to user, to, to user traceability, more traceability, more safety, uh, recall process easier, combat counterfeiting, um, and reduction of medical, medical um, errors. Next steps. Send letters of recommendation for the use of the GS1 system to hard suppliers. Continue to mo monitor the pilot project suppliers. Do a second project. Publicize the project and publicize the project. We believe, we believe that by completing all these steps, we will be able to make an automatic capture of the key information for our operations, batch, serial number, patient, other information. Thank you.